Hello and welcome to this exercise on absolute values and inequalities and we are asked to solve uh, that the absolute value of x minus 3 over 2 is greater than uh, 5, greater than or equal to 5 there. Now I'm going to use three methods and the first method has got to be using the, the normal definition of what an absolute value is. Uh, the second met method would be uh, squaring off both sides, this and this side, and the third method. The third method is a graphical method. Okay, now here is our project, and I'm going to copy it down again, as there. Now, from the outset, can I point something out here? Now, because we've got this sign that says greater than five. Now, that was suggest to us. Uh, that we're going to have to we're going to have two critical values anyway. Uh, that suggests that the critical value on the right hand side, that divided regions will be pointing to the right hand side, point away towards the right hand side for the critical value on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, the critical value on the left hand side, the values will be the valid the valid re, the, sorry the valid values will be pointing towards left hand towards our left as what you program it to point towards our left for the critical points so we expect two critical points one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side right moving on and if we now um, open up our absolute value bracket so to speak and multiply by two we have that x minus three uh, is greater than or equal to ten and x minus three is less than or equal to minus 10. That's what we got here. Now, actually, you can actually write out two different equations if you wish. Now, what's happening here is that because of this sign here, greater than 5, we have an or uh, situation instead of an and situation. That's what we're going to have. Now, secondly, from this stage here, we can actually solve our problem because what this is saying to us is that um, if you have plus 3 in the center, in the middle, that we're going to have, to the right, to the right of plus 3, we're going to have 10 units. And to the left of plus 3, we're going to have 10 units as well. So it can actually solve your problem from there. Now, let's see what happens here. So in effect, okay, now if we add 3 to both sides, we end up with x is greater than or equal to 13 and x less than, less than or equal to minus 7. Now, let's try this on the number line. So, what we've now got is something like this here. Now, note that on the number line, at the beginning of my arrow, the, the circle is filled in because we've got an equal sign there. If, if there had been no equal sign there, then this circle will be open. Similarly, on the right hand side, the critical point is 13, which is there, and a circle as well. And the circle is also filled in because we got an, an equal sign there. Hope that makes sense. Right, now let's check out this bit here, now this statement here. Uh, we've got three there. If we count uh, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's us up. That, that stops at plus thirteen, and we've got three there. Count it to the left hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So either way, either this way, or that way, will have solved this uh, problem for us. Now let's check. Now. Let's say, uh, suppose we pick a number from the right hand side, so we pick a number 17. Now, 17 minus 3 is 14. Divide 14 by 2, we get 7. So, 7 is greater than 5. So, numbers on this side are valid. Now, what about here? Now, let's pick the number, say, uh, minus 13. Now, minus 13 minus 3 will give us minus 16. Divide minus 16 by 2, we have minus 8. And because within with absolute values, minus 8 becomes 8, and 8 is greater than 5. So all the numbers to the left of uh, minus 7, including minus 7 itself, are valid. Now, let's try one here. 
uh, how about, uh, should we try 8 there? Now, 8 minus 3 is 5, divide 5 by 2, get 2 and a half. Now, 2 and a half is not, is not greater than 5, so all the numbers in this black region are not valid. So, that one, that's the, that one solved. Uh, method 2, and uh, for method 2, if we now, um, right, for method 2, if we now uh, square both sides, and that's what we've got here, here. And then uh, following up from that, if you square two, you get four. So if you, if you multiply both sides by four, we end up with x minus three all squared is greater than or equal to 25 times four. 25 times four is 100. Now we open up our bracket and we have x squared minus six x plus nine is greater than or equal to 100. Subtract 100 from both sides. We have that x squared minus six x minus 91 is greater than or equal to zero. And when we factorize, we have that x plus seven to x minus 13 is greater than or equal to zero. So now, as before, our critical points are at minus seven and plus 13. So those are critical points. And of course, we can test this in the same way as we did here. Okay, you can test it as well. Now, method three, graphical method. Okay, so what you need to do is to plot the graph of x squared minus 6x plus, sorry, x squared minus 6x minus 91 uh, is equal to 0 on here, as we got here. Now, what we're looking for really are the values of x such that the y values will be greater than or equal to 0. So in effect, and that's going to be from there to there. And similarly from there to that side so that's our those are valid regions and so again the critical points are at uh, plus 13 and minus 7 I hope all that made sense and um, please subscribe thank you for watching see you again sometime bye bye